Mediterranean keto, what the heck is that? Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, I've lost 100 pounds living my low carb ketogenic lifestyle over the course of my journey. Today I'm here to talk to you about all things Mediterranean keto. What the heck is that? It's actually just keto. You probably already eat this way if you're living a ketogenic lifestyle, but it, you know, we have to have a fancy title for everything, right? So the fancy title is Mediterranean keto. Now I've already had some comments saying with some of the things I've showcased on what is Mediterranean keto. Oh, that's not really Mediterranean. It classifies in this realm of Mediterranean keto and what's allowed on the actual lifestyle. So we're doing a Mediterranean challenge actually here on my channel and my social media platform. So we're going to be doing Mediterranean keto for a week, June 15th through the 21st. I wanted to make a dedicated video for everyone that wanted to join in on the challenge. A lot of people want to join, but they have no clue where to start, what's allowed. I will have these infographics. I will try to have them down below, the ones that you're going to see popped up when we talk about them or I'll have it typed up in a Google Doc so it will be kind of like a approved grocery list for when you go to the grocery store or you can make your own shopping list based on what we talk about and what you see down below. So first let's talk about the approved vegetables on Mediterranean keto and again it doesn't have to be just Mediterranean keto these are keto friendly foods but these are the ones we want to specifically target on this diet this lifestyle for Mediterranean keto. So arugula is approved artichokes asparagus bell pepper, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, celery, cucumber, cauliflower, garlic, leeks, fennel, eggplant, green beans, greens of any kind, so any leafy greens, kale especially, lettuce, mushrooms, mustard greens, onions, radishes, spinach, and zucchini. So those are some of the basic veggies that you can eat while on Mediterranean keto. Now it is highly suggested on this form of keto that you want to eat as many veggies and moderate amount of, of fruit as possible. Whereas on keto, we kind of limit ourselves on veggies and fruit because it is higher in carbs but in this Mediterranean keto lifestyle you're getting your carbs from whole foods and veggies and fruits instead of the keto processed sweets and other treats that we're used to eating so it's a good thing all right and as far as tracking goes because I know I'm gonna get the question should you track while on Mediterranean keto you can track you don't have to okay so just like with carnivore the carnivore lifestyle you are suggested not to track when doing carnivore same thing with Mediterranean keto eat when hungry and then eat until satiated and eat as much leafy greens, veggies, and good protein as possible. Moving on to fruits that are approved for this lifestyle. Avocados, oh my gosh, everybody's gonna be happy about that. All the berries, right? So eat the damn berries. If you've been with me for a while, you get the pun. Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, lemon and limes are highly suggested, and tomatoes are approved. So really awesome. A lot of the same fruits that we already eat on our basic keto lifestyle, we can can eat them on this Mediterranean keto too. The fats that we're going to enjoy on Mediterranean keto first are going to be avocado oil. So we're already eating that on our keto lifestyle. So that's not a big change. Coconut milk is allowed coconut oil. Extra virgin olive oil is really the number one fat or oil you want to choose when doing Mediterranean keto. It's suggested for everything. So try to use that in avocado oil first before anything else. Ghee is approved. Avocado oil mayo. So I will have a recipe for a simple delicious avocado oil mayonnaise linked in the description box down below. So simple, so delicious, and it is approved for this lifestyle. And any type of olives, just make sure to check the ingredients and make sure to check the carb count that they don't have anything suspicious or nasty added to them, but they are a thumbs up. What proteins can we eat on Mediterranean keto? So first and foremost, you want to eat as much fish as possible. So in the list that I'm going to spout out to you guys, try to go for as much of the fish on this diet because we can eat the meats, the chicken, the things like that on our regular keto lifestyle. You can eat the fish too, but most of the time we neglect the fish and we go for all of the other uh, not so good for us if we consume on a daily basis proteins. I want you guys on this Mediterranean keto challenge to try to strive for eating as much fish as possible. Lean beef, and we usually think on keto we need to do as fatty as possible. We're going to have fats from our olive oil, avocado oil, the cheeses, all kinds of things on this particular diet. Same thing with keto. So I highly 
suggest that y'all eat a lean version of meat. Instead of getting 80-20 hamburger meat, try to get the 93-7, and then that way you can add your butter and other things when doing keto or Mediterranean keto challenge. You can add other fatty aspects to your lean meat as possible. So we don't have to go high fat for the meat and then high fat for all the add-ins, and then you've hit your macros and you have no room to eat anything for the rest of the day. So just go for the leanest type of meat as possible. Chicken, again, we don't want to go with dark meat, even though I love dark meat the best. Want to go for a chicken breast here, the leanest type of chicken possible. Crabs, clams, eggs, 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 and more eggs. Try to get a good egg though. Pasture raised is going to be the best and the most nutrient dense for you. Lobster, mackerel, oysters, lean pork, prosciutto, sardines, salmon, scallops, shrimp, lean steak, squid, tuna, any other type of fish that's not listed, guys, is going to be great on this Mediterranean Keto Challenge. Try to strive for the fish first before anything else. Dairy that you can consume. A lot of y'all are gonna be excited about this. You can have tons of cheeses, but these are going to be really, really great, healthy, better choice cheeses than we usually make on keto. So feta cheese, goat milk, goat cheese, Greek yogurt. So with Greek yogurt, guys, we talked about that one from Sam's Club. I did a whole keto kicker video on it. You wanna try to go for high fat Greek yogurt. So the FIA 5% Greek yogurt is gonna have the best bet for your fat protein ratio. It does have some carbs in it, but if you're eating it in moderation, whether you're keto or doing Mediterranean keto, that's gonna be a good bet for you. Also the YQ, a plain, is going to be good too even though it doesn't have as much fat it's going to be a good option for a yogurt uh, option <laughs> keto or on mediterranean keto heavy cream try to get one without carrageen mozzarella cheese romano parmesan cheese and ricotta all right so those are going to be your awesome cheeses that you are allowed to incorporate on keto but specifically mediterranean nuts and seeds that are allowed and encouraged on mediterranean keto almonds almond butter get a good one that doesn't have palm oil or any other type of oils added just make sure it says almonds and salt on it brazil nuts chia seeds flax seeds macadamia nuts pecans, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, and walnuts. Again, make sure to check all packaging that it just says whatever the nut is and salt. You don't want any added oils, any other nasty ingredients, maltodextrin, anything like that is a no-go. So make sure to check ingredients for all your nut options. A couple of reminders before I talk to you specifically about my meal plan. I'm gonna have some specific recipes down below. I'll have some things typed up for you in a Google Doc that you can print out as well to make it easy peasy for you. I'm just gonna give you some reminders right now before we get into my plan. So red wine, I've had a lot of y'all ask about alcohol on this diet. If you can drink, I know y'all, the struggle is real. Red wine is allowed though, and it's actually encouraged. So you can have one glass of red wine each night and just rule of thumb one glass now i'm not talking about a glass like this that's one of those glasses like you know what i'm talking about a regular like eight ounce glass of wine rule of thumb is about one net carb and there's some specific wine companies that are really great to have low carb and healthy clean ingredients too seco wine club is one that i recommend i'll have them linked down below too so if you want to go ahead and place an order that way it comes in time or if you have some place that you shop locally that has a red wine option go ahead for it guys you can have your red wine one glass per night we already talked about try to stick to as much seafood for your protein versus you know steaks and beef those things are allowed i am going to be incorporating that maybe once or twice the week of the challenge but other than that i'm going to be focusing on protein of fish admit your sweeteners are sweet so just like carnivore carnivore is no sweets at all at least with this diet this lifestyle we can have a little bit of sweets but it is still very restrictive so you can have dark chocolate um, lily's chocolate i highly recommend there's even some that's better than lily's that doesn't have as much of the erythritol and stevia added to it choose those um, don't do like chalk zero and some things like that because they have soluble corn fiber in them try to go for the cleanest type of chocolate as possible dark chocolate Chia seed pudding is allowed. I do have a recipe I'll link in the description box down below and you can alter it to any flavor that you want, okay? So it's very filling, it's very high in fat and it's healthy and good for you with the chia seeds in it. So I highly recommend doing that each night if you have to have a sweet. If you don't have to have a sweet, if you can just get away with some of the yogurt with some almond butter, just do that to satisfy that little bit of sweetness and focus more on leafy greens. Go for some fruit, do some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, go for a fruit 
is highly recommended for a sweet versus even the chia seed pudding or the dark chocolate fruits, veggies, fish. You can track your macros or you can track just net carbs on this diet. We talked about that before. So you make that choice for what's best for you and how you think you're gonna be most successful this week. Drink tons of water. You should be drinking tons of water, half of your body weight in water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should be drinking at least 100 ounces of water, if not more per day. Electrolytes are gonna be key as well. If you have the perfect keto pills, electrolyte pills, you can take those. I also highly, highly recommend Redmond's Real Salt. They're new Relight brand. They have an unflavored, a berry, and a lime flavor that is out of this world. Makes me feel awesome. I definitely can tell the difference when taking those versus some other electrolytes. So I'll have them linked down below as well with a discount code if you're interested in Redmond's Real Salt in general. Their spices are incredible and now they have an awesome electrolyte for us. Fasting is allowed on this diet too. So if you want to do alternate day fasting or if you want to do intermittent fasting like a 16 slash 8 every single day, you can definitely Definitely do that on this lifestyle as well. Enough about all the rules, regulations, and things that are allowed. Let's talk about my plan. So my plan for Mediterranean Keto. Again, I will have all this in a Google Doc down below so you can print it out, go back and study it, go and follow the links to some of the recipes, and just make it your own. Don't have to follow mine to a T. I just want to let y'all know my plan. A lot of y'all have asked. So for breakfast options, I'm going to be making something called fisherman's eggs. So I have these little white ceramic type dishes that I purchased. It doesn't matter as long as you put it in a glass or a ceramic dish and I'm going to be putting some spinach leaves or some arugula or some kale on the bottom. I am then going to layer it with some sardines and then I'm going to put maybe two or three eggs on top and maybe have them poached. Maybe just put them in the oven and cook it like that so they are kind of poached in the oven. Maybe put some seasonings on top when I take them out. Just make it really fresh. You can add some olives to the top of that. You can add a little oat cheese, some feta cheese to the top of that. Again, use the ingredients that I gave you and make things that are your own. This is going to be such a delicious week, I'm telling you guys, but I know that sounds kind of weird. It's very popular for Mediterranean keto is the fisherman's eggs, and it sounds delicious to me, but this girl likes sardines. Sardines, you want to try to get the boneless, skinless kind in water. Don't get any kind that's already packed in oils because we want to add our fats to our foods ourselves and control that. We don't want it already packed in the product. So try to get the ones that are in uh, water they do sell them boneless skinless at Walmart as well another breakfast option for me is gonna be yogurt with some berries maybe some chopped walnuts some pecans macadamia nuts something like that and then having some poached eggs on the side you can definitely do boiled eggs fried eggs guys you don't have to get bougie and fancy I'm just gonna be trying some different things since it is a challenge and it's something new but again for the yogurt I'm gonna be using the YQ yogurt or I'm gonna buy some of the Faye 5% it is a little more full fat, so I'm probably going to go that option, or I'll probably just go do the YQ because that's something that I know I really enjoy. Maybe mix it with a little almond butter one morning, but I really want to have something fresh and light and something delicious with some eggs on the side to start my morning as an option. And then I'm just keeping it basic so we can have some poached eggs, some fried eggs, some scrambled eggs with a avocado on the side, sliced with some spices, and some yogurt too. Maybe just some plain yogurt with a little bit of walnuts or macadamia nuts or something mixed in. Again, just keep this really fresh, light, and delicious. Lunch options for myself. So y'all know those egg thins that we rave about on keto, the Crepini egg thins. You can find them at your Costco. They sell them in a huge pack. I know a lot of y'all can find them at like your Kroger. Locally to me, Rouse's sells them now. They are amazing. Whole Foods has them too. We're gonna take some egg thins and we're gonna make like a sandwich or a roll up with them. So we're gonna put a little bit of avocado mayonnaise on there. We're gonna put some prosciutto on there and some cheese cheese, some feta cheese maybe, even some goat cheese, whatever cheese that your heart desires. Some spinach and maybe have a portion of walnuts on the side. So maybe make like two or three of those and have those as a lunch option. Just sounds delicious whether you're Mediterranean keto or not. Prosciutto roll up. So we're going to take that prosciutto I was talking about before and we're going to wrap it around some goat cheese or some ricotta cheese, whatever cheese that you choose to eat on this challenge. And we're going to just roll it up and eat it like that. Since goat cheese and ricotta 
thought as a pretty soft cheese, I thought it would be really awesome, kind of like cream cheese, to just spread it in there, roll it up, and have it as a prosciutto roll-up would be really, really tasty. I'm gonna make like a Mediterranean Lunchable, so I'll have those roll-ups with some berries on the side, maybe put some spinach in the roll-ups too, because we wanna have as much greenery as possible, and again, have some type of nut option too. So just have like a little snacky plate for one of our lunch options. The next lunch option I will have linked in the Google printout. It's gonna be an oregano chicken zoodle bowl. It looks delicious. So basically it's just a big bowl of chicken with a bunch of leafy greens um, and it's got some zoodles in there. It just looks like a big mashup of healthy whole food deliciousness. So definitely check out that link for that recipe. I cannot wait to try it. Speaking of bowls, we have another bowl option on the lunch menu. So a Mediterranean bowl, which could be either some cooked salmon, some cooked tuna, some mahi-mahi. You can even do chicken, whatever protein that you want to go here. And make sure it's on a big bed of salad. So on your kale, on your spinach, whatever leafy green you choose. Have some cut up olives on top of there. Maybe some mozzarella pearl balls on top of there too. Maybe throw some walnuts on there. I'm also going to have a link for a couple of dressings, some Greek dressings that are going to be really delicious options for you instead of buying anything in the store. So again, check the link down below because it's going to bring you to these specific recipes that are going to be so easy and so delicious for you guys to make. Moving on to dinner options. So we're going to make garlic shrimp zoodles with avocado. Again, another linked recipe that'll be down below. Basically what it is is just a bed of zucchini noodles with some shrimp and a little bit of a Mediterranean kind of garlic sauce that we're going to toss over the zoodles and have a whole avocado on the side. Keeping things simple one night with just some either grilled, broiled, sauteed, whatever you want to do, salmon with some veggies on the side from our veggie approved list and another entire avocado. The more avocado, the better. Another simple option we're going to do some tuna steaks or some mahi mahi, whatever type of fish you have on hand, again with veggies and avocado. This is going to be a full fish avocado veggie type of week. I then have on the menu to have Brenner one week, which is basically breakfast for dinner. So one of our breakfast options we talked about before, I will also duplicate for a dinner option as well. Probably the fisherman's eggs because I feel like it's going to be really high fat, high protein, very satisfying, satiating to keep me full through the night. So we'll probably go that route, maybe even throw in the yogurt combination as well as like my two in one dinner plus our sweet for the night. I am allowing myself steak one night since we can have beef on this lifestyle. I'm I'm just trying to stay as fish focused as possible but on Friday night we are going to have steak and I am going to make some shrimp kebabs on the side on the grill with maybe some broccoli and some type of cheese slice maybe some mozzarella cheese slice or a little bit of goat cheese mozzarella ball pearls whatever I'm gonna have all that incorporated on one plate for the weekend we're gonna be making chicken kebabs with tzatziki sauce again something I'll have linked down below for you guys it looks really simple and delicious and have all the veggies planted in between between the chicken, cooking it on my griddle. I have a Blackstone griddle now. I cannot wait to use it. And really go full veggie, full chicken here with that tzatziki sauce drizzled on top with an entire avocado on the side. And then I know we're gonna have a ton of leftovers from dinners this week. So anything that we have left behind, we're gonna eat up for that last day on Sunday. Snack options I'm going to go for are berries. Any of the berries I mentioned, maybe even have that as desserts one night. Olives, I'm gonna be picking up a few different kinds and if I wanna have a snacky snack, I'll reach for those because they're gonna be good, healthy fats. Any of the nuts that I mentioned, you can use that and reach for a snack. I'm gonna be reaching for walnuts probably mostly and then almond butter. So if you wanna just take a spoonful of almond butter and go savage and eat it, that's gonna be a good snack option as well. So don't forget that your dessert options are gonna be the dark chocolate, the chia seed pudding and your berries. Don't deprive yourself. It, if, if it's at a certain time of night and you are hungry, go in for a couple of those healthy options. I do suggest whether you're keto, carnivore, doing Mediterranean keto, that you cut off your eating window by 7, 7.30 p.m. That way, especially if you're fasting, that the next morning you're fasting, your eating window actually opens at a decent time. You can work out fasted, and then you can go in with your first meal of the day, make it kind of small, and then go in with a larger meal later. But definitely for digestion purposes, especially with Mediterranean keto, since some of us will be eating a lot more fruits and veggies than we're used to cut off your eating window early so that way your body has time to digest and process everything while you're still awake in your movement before you lay down become sedentary and let all these things process move slow and go and get ready to come on out 
I know, TMI, but that's going to help you guys. I promise you, cut your eating window off between 7 and 7.30 p.m. and take your supplements while doing this challenge as well, just like with carnivore, anything else. Make sure you're taking your magnesium, take your turmeric, any of your multivitamins that you're taking. You can take them while on Mediterranean keto. They will help with digestion as well. That's the basics for Mediterranean keto. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gives you some insight on all the things that you can have on Mediterranean keto, what's approved, things that you cannot have. If you have any questions about this diet, this lifestyle, please leave them in the comments down below and I will be happy to answer your questions if they weren't answered in this video. Go and check out that Google Doc with all the recipes, the grocery shopping list, the, uh, the list of all the approved foods on the lifestyle. Definitely check that out. Print it out. Make notes. Make it your own. Just enjoy this challenge, guys. This is gonna be a challenge for some of you because you're used to eating cheese and bacon and hamburger meat all day, every day. And is there anything wrong with that, in my opinion? No, but there's sometimes we need to switch things up. If you're in a stall, if you're in a plateau, you've got to switch things up in your diet. It's gonna shock your body. And a lot of y'all are going to see amazing results with this. I know a lot of you are scared because you're thinking that eating more fruit and more veggies is going to make you gain weight. It's going to make you feel more bloated. I think y'all are gonna be surprised by how this affects some of you guys. Just trust in the process, it's seven days. We can do anything for seven days. And if it flops, just go the next week with your keto diet and know that Mediterranean keto is not for you. If you get awesome results and you are loving how you're feeling, you might wanna continue with this lifestyle next week instead of doing your traditional keto lifestyle. So these challenges are meant to have you do something new, push yourself, change things up, switch things up, shock your body, and learn something in the process. If you don't like it after a week, you just went through seven days, you learned something, and you can move on. If you did enjoy today's video and you're looking forward to the Mediterranean Keto Challenge, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. That helps so much. Share it with someone that has been interested in Mediterranean Keto. If you want a buddy to do the challenge with you, definitely share it with he or she, and that way they can get on board and get all the information they need for the challenge. If you're new here and you wanna see everything Thing, health related, keto related challenges, you name it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you a part of the keto fam. Make sure all the bells and whistles are clicked so you get notified every time a new video gets uploaded here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and awesome week. I hope this was helpful. Comments down below on any questions you have about the challenge, about the lifestyle, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.